here for so long. We we need somebody. We we went looking for we just looking for some answers. We thought we'd find some, but please, it's so cold here. Chasing static. Where are we chasing it to? And what are we chasing it from? I have no idea, but these answers, and maybe more or none, will be in this video on the Jacksepticeye channel. Welcome, everybody. I did this game a little bit in a Three Scary Games video, long time ago, and it was just a demo at the time, but I said that I was really excited for the full version to come out, and it's been out for a while. So now, we're ha here we are, finally, Figuring out what this was all about. I really highly enjoyed the demo when I played it, so I have high hopes for this. It has a really cool style. That me? Oh yeah. Sitting in the rain. Smoking a ciggy. Just wondering where it all went wrong. Excuse me. Chris, I presume? Evelyn! Uh, yeah. Sure. It's Evelyn. We spoke on the phone. On the phone. All oh, right, sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy you could make it. A Welsh accent? Nice. Your father. It seems he... Well, he didn't have a lot of friends. In the end. He never did. Right. Anyway, the whore asked me to give you this. It was all they had in regards to his personal effects. A book? Huh. I can't read. I'm sure there's a lot you have to process today. I apologize for being so forward. No, it's, it's fine. Honestly, um... We really weren't that close. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, Chris. Hello, I Chris. Hope you have a safe journey home. We spoke on the phone. No butter? I can't do a Welsh accent. Um Okay. How do I How do I video game? <laughs> No book. What we got? To whom it may concern. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end. A fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. Atmosphere drenched in it. It's like my own hollow ambitions. Some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves, and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger. Can I just not look at the road? <laughs> I have many regrets. What's out there? <laughs> the Institute is not one of them. <laughs> Just driving down the road, not even looking at it. Headlights off. <laughs> change the- I don't think you can just change the gear stick like that. I am grinding the gearbox out of this car. <laughs> There we go. Fifth gear. Now we're on our way. Let's go, lads. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Okay, no, ser serious. Serious, right? We gotta be serious. Our dad's very uh, dead. And very, uh, very serious about everything. Are we there yet? Glove box. <laughs> I don't think I should be doing that while driving. I'm gonna make the same jokes again, aren't I? I completely forgot what I said in the previous video, but it's just like... <laughs> just 
Just drive in your car. All handy. Nice. Now, like, hold on. I need to get something out of the glove box. We're good. All right, what we got? Map. Okay, we should try and figure out where we're going. Don't open that map up in front of you. <laughs> where am I? You're taking a shortcut to a graveyard. Hearth and Aylwood. <laughs> okay. Nice. Travel to a portal. Different dimension. Last stop. Yeah, the demo didn't go much further beyond this coffee shop, right? It was kind of just this thing, and the lady got up on the roof. She was all scary, and I was like, what you doing on the roof? And she was like, that's fourteen fifty for the coffee. I'm like, okay, but why the roof? Uh, the rain. It used to come down hard before, but ever since I lost my daddy, it just seems like the rain hits even harder than before. Sometimes it feels like the rain is never going to end. And I'm just going to be stuck here. Jason Static. Title card. Boom! <laughs> I love the, the visuals in this game. Really nice. Kind of old school, but very modern at the same time. Hello, I talked to you on the phone. Hey up, you got a coffee? I'm bloody parched and I'm fucking tired. I'd like a coffee. Christ alive. You almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. You got lost in the storm. This is like a porn intro. <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack. Did you get lost in the storm? It's wet outside. You know, conversation is normally a two-way thing. Shit, I'll stop making jokes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should... Okay. Uh, are you still open? Sorry to barge in. Uh, you're still open, mate. Uh, kitchen's closed, but we have all the coffee you could want. You don't sound like you're from around here. No. I mean, I used to be. A long time ago. Where are you headed, anyway? I don't know, probably out east. I heard there was a lot of stuff out there to do. Okay, uh, yeah, conversation. I'm, uh, headed east. Oswestry. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? I want a coffee first, actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, go on, hit me with the bad news first. Fearless, I like it. Well, you missed the turning. It's like half an hour back the way you came. Good news is, I know the way. We'll be headed that way myself soon, anyway. Hang about and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I could do with the- How are you getting home without me? Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain, anyway. Never mind. Nothing creepy, though. I'll kick your ass if you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Probably the only coffee, don't too. Of customers these days, though. Anira, have you heard about top of the morning coffee? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is the coffee free, then? Let's see. What do you got? Um... So I never caught your name. Oh, it's Chris. It's Chris. Chris. Right. Nice and simple. Yeah. It was my dad's name, my grandfather too. Hey, I'm named after my dad too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you. You didn't have to tip, you know. Thanks, though. Ah, uh, sure, why nice not? To meet you, Chris. I'm Anera. I'm Anera. I used to know someone called Anera. It means winter, right? Klaus, winter is Giaf. Anera translates to snow. Oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Hey, I'm impressed. Most English folk can't even read the road signs. Well, neither can I, apparently. I mean... So what brings you to this neck of the woods? I... Um, I'll just stop talking. Well, I buried my dad today. Oh, shit. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought she was gonna end there. Oh I'm shit! <laughs> we didn't uh, exactly see eye to eye. Yeah, my dad left when I was six. Turned up ten years later wanting to play happy family. I still get calls from him. Not that I ever answer. Family, eh? I'll be finished up soon. Then we can hit the road. Family, eh, Anira? What is that about snow? All I know is that it's... I thought it said winter. <laughs> Takes a long bloody time for this coffee to be done, eh? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be real annoying during this playthrough. I need a cup for the coffee. Oh, yeah. Those top of the morning beans, whether you like the light roast, medium roast, or midnight oil blend, dark roast, they all go down smooth. Top of the morning coffee. Get yours today. Just mess with the dial until it finds a signal again. Not the static. Not the static. An era. That's what I'm chasing. I, I told him I'd never go back to the static. Good song. You don't hear it? Oh, sorry, it's the sound of my tinnitus. Yeah, it, it's it's a good song though. It kind of goes like, one of the back rooms. And here, if I go in there, I'm gonna glitch through reality and fall into space and time. Anyway, the joke I was trying to make earlier in here was that it was like the start of a bad porno. Like I come in, last stop, you need a lift home. I need coffee. How, whatever are we gonna do? All right, she's not one for chatter. Um, anyway, I can kind of make out. It's a flat white, a latte, and something. Oh, I can't really. I don't mind a flat white every now and then. You know, it's better than just black coffee. Sometimes, if I, if I want to get a splash of milk, I'll say, "Oh, I love flat white." It makes me feel special. I don't need the loo right now. Oh, you will in two seconds once you finish that cup of coffee. <laughs> Seriously. A cup of coffee in me, and then immediately to the bathroom. As someone who has, like, IBS, like, coffee and IBS don't mix. What am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be... Oh, I was probably supposed to be doing more with the radio. Nothing but a bunch of crap in here. There we go. Finally, music. Took long enough. Well, I was just a country boy Driving through the land Sipping on the cup of coffee Resting in my hand I met this girl named Anira She was really nice I don't know what else to say except snow melts into ice she doesn't even care i sang you a song it had your name in it and i improv it on the spot do you need help can i help yeah table's still there oh no Anira! Again, that's the second time this week. Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. Anira, you work in the dark? Okay. See, this is why I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look, would you? Fuse boxes in the back. I... <laughs> I just came in here for coffee. Uh, okay, I guess. Last time I was waiting four hours for... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm wasting sorry, no time. What am I looking for here? There's a fuse box in the kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen. Right. Hey, Anira, a bunch of these fuses are fried. Should be some spares in there somewhere. Anira, where's the bloody fuses? Are they in the drawers? All I can find was cutlery. Found a screwdriver, though. Anira, do we need this? It come in handy later. This was bloody locked. 
It's all right, I got a screwdriver. Oh God, I love those sound effects. Very like Dino Crisis. Again, I'm probably repeating myself from last time. I think we'll feel we're overdue washing up. Um, wait, which ones are fried? The first and the last She's one. Dead. Okay. And we got another one. So I need to put them in the first and the last one, right? Nah, it's dead. It's bloody dead. Dead. It's bloody dead. Put that one in there. Bush. Put this one in here. Bush. And here hey, I've uh, fixed don't need it. To thank me or anything. Anira? Anira? You good, Anira? All right, she's going to be on the roof. It's okay. It's normal. It's what she does. <laughs> it's so creepy. Hello? Am I dead? Whoa, the whole place is different. If I didn't have, if I didn't have the subtitles, it, it sounded like he just said, go into the woods. <laughs> if the subtitles weren't there, I was just, straight to the woods I go! So are we in some sort of like, portal, like this town has been dead for a while and now we're going through a different timeline? That's kind of cool, I like that. Speakers wired to the tape player. Strange device with no antenna. Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. Hmm. Need to find a replacement battery. A camera? Ooh. I could take some Polaroids. All right, there's probably a battery around here somewhere. Wait, I have a lighter. <gasps> Moldy. Thankfully, I'm not hungry. At least the cakes can survive the apocalypse. Who knows? Maybe Anira did this. Maybe she's playing a prank on me. So she doesn't want to come into work tomorrow. She's like, that guy came in and just wrecked the place. Let's go in the back again or go out. Or no, I can't go in the back. Maybe I have to go out to my car. You saw that, right? Whoa, he just vanished. Ghosty man. Oh, it told me to go into the woods, though. <laughs> All reliable. Rust bucket. Piece of sh Oh, wait, I actually can't get in. Oh, damn it. I thought it was just going to keep going like that. Oh, there's probably so much more to get back there. Oh, man. Why does my brain do that? Why am I so stinky? Well, on the road again, I guess. Not even worried about what just happened to me. Oi, Joe, you'll never believe what happened to me. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus! Never. Take your phone out when you're driving. That's a lesson to you. Am I dead? Oh, my wheels came off, so I'm not getting out of this anytime soon. Oh! <laughs> I thought this was a camera angle looking at the car. And it was going to be a cutscene of me getting out. I didn't realize I was in control. <laughs> Looking to be alive for sure, bud. My god. Took an hell of a fall. Alright, well now we're going into the woods, I guess. Hopefully I didn't miss much back there. That lighter is no use to me right now. 
Yeah, the demo went up to here, right? And then we got to like a bunker and then it ended. What is that? These creepy mushrooms clearly have something to do with it. Maybe it's radiation. I heard something. Damn, this is so atmospheric. This is dope. What's this? A dizzying hum is emanating from the device. Huh. Alright. What are our bets? <clears throat> I love guessing stuff at the start of games to see if I'm right by the end. Either this place is a hotbed for something. Thank you for setting the atmosphere. It's either a hotbed for something and people came in to test it and to experiment on it and to see what that energy is, or science has messed in the area and caused something bad to happen. So the science is either reactive or the cause of it. Dude, I'm about to see Siren Head go through these woods. All right, follow the mushrooms. Eat the mushrooms! I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, the music is getting spooky. Okay, I'm going. Oh! I just ended up back here. Oh, cool. So I can actually get a battery and come back. Nice. Oh, you messed up Anira's bike! That's messed up! That's a- that's a douchebag play right there. Like, messing up the coffee shop, whatever, she doesn't work there. Or she doesn't own it, she just works there, I mean. But messing up her bike... That's not on. Alright, we're heading back, I guess. Undiscovered key items remain in this area. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cool. Oh, I love the sound of the pitter-patter of the rain. The ocean. Or a lake. Either way, don't go for a swim, Chris. Well, I also said don't go into the woods, and here we are. So, who am I to say? Go in for a swim. Let the radioactive super sharks eat your legs off. What was that? I, I've heard that twice now going past this section. It sounds like someone taking pictures of me. And maybe the lightning is the flash of the camera. God's taking Polaroids of me lost in the woods. Could you help? Okay, yeah, bunker thing. Progress. Oh. Is yeah, see, they're all- Oh, jeez! Bunker door. There's a hexagon fixture in the center of the door mechanism. Okay, so I need a... I need a... You know? Yeah, so it's a, The dad said that he was working for a company, right? These dudes are all in radioactive suits, so it's like... They went underground and found something they weren't supposed to. Oh, I'm... My ears are like... Perked up, because I keep feeling like I'm hearing things around me. That boat actually probably works, so I don't want to get into it yet. I want to search around. There's key items in this area that I'm missing, apparently. Yeah, shack. It's always a good sign, right? If you're doing anything horror-wise and you just see a shack in the middle of the woods with green glowing mushrooms out of it, that, that's, that says come on in and have some tea. I like puke outside. Do not, and I mean this, get up and walk around. Oh, God. Oh, that smell. A smell. Dude, this state here. Oh, Lord. Dr. Nisha Baines Road say, Strong displacement, singular source, clear audible chatter, further study advice, moderate displacement, two sources in between. Weak displacement, two sources, indistinct audible chatter. Okay. Wong. Wait, so did you... Maybe he got out and he closed the door 
and then broke off the valve and was like, don't go in there. Can I open this? Oh, I really feel like something's watching me all the time. I hate it. If you're watching me, don't just pull your pants down and shake your ass in every direction. I've done that. I, well, I haven't done that. <laughs> Okay, hold on now. No, I haven't done that, okay? But I do every now and then, if I'm out in the real world and I feel like someone's watching me or something, I'll just go like this. <laughs> just in case, you know? Or if someone's like taking pictures of me in the distance, you know, because... <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a pretty famous big-time Jacksepticeye coffee inventor, maker of clothes, voice actor, actor in general. Um, but I, I just, every now and then I'll just be like, <laughs> when I'm kind of on my own, just in case. I, I would love for someday a picture to surface of me just <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, sticking my finger up at nothing. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh god. At least you'd hear nothing sneaking up on you now because the door just made you deaf. How bad is this? On a scale of one to awful, how bad is this on that scale? I don't like that I have to stop to take up my lighter either. Oh cool. I'm getting real big penumbra vibes. That- that's a game I actually really like. I think I like those games more than Amnesia. Alpha Charlie. Bravo. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, there's too many ways to go. My unga bunga brain is not happy. Okay, I'm taking this off because it doesn't help anything. Hopefully I can get a flashlight somewhere. Whoa, what is that? Those are just flies? What is happening? Or maybe it's water. Weird. Locked. You think? Thanks, Chris. You don't react to any of the bad stuff that's happening, but then the only fir the first thing you say in a long time is, ah, locked. <gasps> Who are you? Are you real? Oh, it's Anira! Hey, wait! Anira! I need coffee! I didn't get to finish my last cup because the lights went out and then you turned into a weirdo. I tipped her. Yeah, whoa! This is some Dharma initiative stuff. Who's talking? Hello? Warning! Status compromise. Simulcast link. Ah, simulcast link absent. Resolution established constant procedure. Okay. Some old radio tech. Okay. What are you calling me on? Oh god, is this the map of the game? This game's a little more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. It's cool, I'm into it. Alright, do I have to fix these? Site A and Site C, the other one was. Oh, radio. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh god, am I happy to hear your voice. I thought you guys had left me here for dead. Does this mean we got you all clear? I can leave. Lay, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, my name's Chris! <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I need help. Wait. You're not from the cleanup team. Fuck. Look, I just... I was in the cafe and there was this thing. It attacked us. I just... I just want to get out of here, please. Send help. Okay. Take a minute. Tell me exactly what you saw. Something attacked us? I, I don't know. It was dark. Like, 
like some kind of nightmare. Oh, feels like I'm dreaming. Hey, hey, it, it's going to be all right. What's your name? It's Chris, but... Okay, Chris. I'm Helen. You need to listen to me. We're in a bit of trouble here. Something... bad has happened. You're going to have to trust me. I need you to do something for me. I'm from a team of researchers. Whatever you saw in the cafe, it's not real, okay? But for us to leave this place, we're going to have to work together. Have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, sure. When I was a kid, it would scare the shit out of me. Think of it like that. A new bed spans several miles. The things you see here, no matter how real they may seem, they're just broken memories. Figments of your imagination latched onto something real. Look, I'm just trying to find my way home. The only way you or I are getting out of here is if you do exactly as I say. I'm sorry, Chris, but we're in this together, whether you like it or not. <sighs> okay, fine. So what do I do? There are three sites, each with a device engineered to secure and contain the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. Several days ago, <laughs> these devices failed. Simultaneously, each site was disconnected from the array. You're going to have to manually reboot the simulcast devices to relink the array. Uh, honestly, I struggle with the VCR. I I'm not exactly qualified. VCR? <laughs> Think of this as more of a hi-fi. Just hit the power and press the big green button. It's that simple. My Onga Bunga brain can do that. Uh, okay, how will I know where these things are? Each link has a fail-safe signal for that exact reason. Easily tracked with a displacement device. But there should be one there in the orchard. Uh, and there really is no other option. I wish there was. Um... Okay. And uh, what's stopping me from walking right out of here? You're welcome to try, but I strongly suggest you reconsider that thought. Could be a fallen tree, a gas leak, Exhaustion. It's going to be really hard to comprehend right now. But this place, it's different. It has an agenda. Okay. If you're here, you're here for a reason. And it's not going to let you leave until it's had its way. Interesting. Uh, how the hell does a field in the middle of nowhere have an agenda? Yeah. It's better if you don't think about it. <laughs> it's better if we don't try and explain it, actually. Just focus on getting those sites continued. Okay. Uh, you said something about a displacement device. You said something about a displacement device? Yeah, it's like a portable radio. Only one that can pick up signals beyond the typical bands. We use them to monitor the anomalies. To listen to them. Signals? The signals are a side effect. A trace left over from the afflicted entities. Once an item is afflicted, it gives off a specific wavelength that the frequency displacement monitor picks up. You can trace the origin with it. That'll lead you to the simulcast link. Uh, you have no idea how much this sounds like nonsense. Yeah, to me. me too, Chris. It's the same shit my dad used to obsess over. Yeah, because he worked here! Chris, I'm deadly serious. We need to get those sites contained. Okay. Um, tell me more about these sites. Tell me more about these sites. There are three sites. If the radio is working, that must mean that the orchard has power. Check the monitors there for an update on each site. Mm. One is just off the main road. There's an abandoned cafe that we've been monitoring for several months now. The second is in the village itself, situated in an old public house. And the third, Ground Zero, is beyond the lake. Okay. A stretch of farmland where the first anomaly was found. Cafe, village, farmland. Got it. So the cafe is actually one of the sites. So I need to bring the ba a battery back there, and that was the device with the speakers? Okay, well, I'll be back later. I'm gonna go check out those sites. 
Go careful, Chris. Okay. Go careful? Looks like they were tracking something. That's cool though, I like this. What a cool premise. Um I multiple sites wait, multiple sites compromised, lockdown procedure initiated. Echo Garden status unknown. I don't really know how to read this. Also, it keeps backing me out before I actually press any buttons, so that's why I keep going in and out of it. A rack of various audio devices. Cool. All right. This is crazy. Oh, this is one of the devices that's out there. Anything else I can fiddle with? Is this that device you mentioned? Okay, frequency displacement monitoring device has been added to the inventory. Huh, what's this? Oh, I saw this then. Operational it. guidelines. Oh, sweet Jesus. Please read the following statement carefully. License, licensees, employees, and all disclosed by any information. Okay, operational guidelines. The frequency displacement monitoring device, FDMD, catchy, is the property of Echo Garden Institute, utilizing the latest in digital chip technology developed in-house by our team of world-class engineers. Similar to a commercial FM radio, the FF is capable of picking up frequencies between 88 megahertz and 108.1 on a precise granular scale. That is very precise. 88 to 108.1? Uh, displacement monitor. After a compromised frequency has been established, the directional microphone can be used to detect the origin of the FM displacement when directed at a target. The LCD digital display will activate. The display will show a numerical readout between th those, with the number increasing based on the strength of the signal. The note has been torn. Okay. Okay. Ugh, lots of information. This is not where my brain excels. After a compromise frequency has been established, the directional microphone can be used to detect the origin. So once I get a frequency established, I take out this and then track it. Chasing the static! Makes a lot of sense. Okay, can I take it out now and just see what it does? Sick. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. Frequency displacement monitor. This is what I wanted. Left control to raise or lower the directional microphone. E to unequip the device. Press 3 to... Okay. When raised, the direction microphone is able to pick up signals in the environment. When a signal is detected, the device will emit a blue light. Signal strength is represented by the LCD readout on the device. A higher number indicates a stronger signal. So blue light follows signal. The frequency displacement is probably... Okay. Ooh. Oh god. Okay. Does it just... It just started making sounds and flashing regardless. I don't know what that meant. This is also a much better light than my lighter. Except now everything's blue. Looks like this way has been intentionally blocked. Interesting, interesting. Is there any reason I just shouldn't have this out all the time? Vroom. See, it's doing a thing in this direction. Any- anything? I'm so confused on how this thing works. Well, look, I can't go those directions anyway. And I can't go this way! Alright, let's head outside. I think if I head outside, I can do something with it. It's loud as all hell out here! Huh. Much better. Oh! Hold on now. I'm locked in! Okay, something in that direction. Ooh, alright! I'm chasing the static! I'm on it, lads! Oh, I think I found it! Wait, back in that direction? What? Wait, what is this? Is that a dead guy? It 
that's some dude in a hazmat suit split in half. Oh, sick. Flashlight. Thanks, buddy. My god. Oh, that's awful. Can you tell me what happened to you, though, so I can avoid doing the same thing? Day 16, Thursday, sightings 2, 1. Oh, stop. Precipitation 100%. Humidity 89%. Wind 70 miles per hour. Clarity poor. I need to know how you died, not the weather. Humanoid appearance. Dark translucency observed at distance. Oh, is that what it looked like? Creepy. Oh, yeah, strong signals across the water. Okay, I have a wild theory. What if I'm the creature things keep seeing, people keep seeing? Like it's some sort of like realities merging and they see me as some like dark shadowy figure. Oh, oars are missing, damn it. But I wanna go over there. Oh wait, maybe the signal was strong from these guys that I just found. Oh, there's something over here as well. Which, let's face it, we all knew there would be. Giant humming red lights. Yes, yeah, demons. So are all of these things just apparitions then? The things that I find with this are all like those... The signal keeps moving, like my presence is disturbing. Sasha wasn't at the meeting point. The orchard's still empty, and it could have been my hand over six hours ago. Oh, and on top of that, Tom's are still there. It's been eight hours now. Interesting. Okay, so they're they're chasing it as well. Right? Whatever this signal is supposed to be. Why? Why are you doing this? Whoa. Let him go. Whoa. Dude, chill! Did he just kill that dude? Whoa, okay, that's messed up. Drowning people in the sake of uh, cultish fanaticism, not chill. I know that's a, that's a harsh take to have. Uh, but I stand by it. <laughs> okay, we're getting some good stuff. I think there might have been one in the bunker as well, because I, I got a signal there. I just didn't really know how this thing worked by then. But this is the way back to the cafe. There has to be something in that cafe. It's also weird to play the whole game like this, because when you put this away, there's so much like atmosphere and rain and music, but it all goes away. Otherwise, okay. Wait, nothing? What? There has to be something here. I also don't really know my boundaries yet, like how far I can go. Because they said one was by the main road and stuff, so... Or is it like cafe, that bunker, and then across the water? Oh, 
there's nothing in here? Some sort of tape player. No. Okay, that's actually disappointing. I I really thought there would be an apparition or whatever you want to call it here. Wait, there's stuff in the street. Wait, let me get the thing out for this. Yeah, I knew there had to be something here. Banger! How are you so calm? This is serious. Like, really fucking serious. Downtime is just there with all three sides compromised. Damn it, which one was it? We're looking at irreversible damage. That's all I'm saying. I just don't get it. How did these sides go down within minutes of one another? The chance of a simultaneous system failure is so... Are you even listening? Do you hear it? Oh, calling us. Damn. They don't like it. They want it back. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, help me find the truth. Nice. I love that stuff. That sort of like cosmic horror, like they're calling us, they're watching. They can hear us right now. It's so spooky. What's this? Cassette tape. Oh god. Cassette tape with enough blood and DNA on it to clone somebody. Is that it? Apart from your dead body, of course. How much further I can go? Can I go like way down this street? Oh! Uh. Wow! Awesome! That's why she said you couldn't leave! Because if you go down one street, you just end up at the other one. Love that. That's also a, a clever mechanic to like keep you in that right space. Dude, this game's sick! Okay, I got a cassette, but... Uh, cassette? I got a cassette, but I need a battery! I can't really use the cassette without the battery, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I can put the cassette in, but I can't exactly use it. Oh, did I say that this had no antenna it's earlier? No power. The battery is depleted. Oh, I gotta go find one. We'll find one somewhere. See, this is really atmospheric now as well, because it is super windy in Brighton. So I'm getting, like... I'm getting wind blowing at my window and in the game, so I'm all, I'm all who spooks. Also, I wanted to say that the voice acting in this game is fantastic. A lot of times with these indie horror games, the voice acting is sort of the thing letting it down. Um, but in this game, it's awesome. Really well done. Oh, found one. Hmm. Okay. You think there's one at that shack, too? Can't remember how I get there. But anyway. Um, I'm assuming setting up that cassette and tape player and stuff at the cafe is how I do whatever I need to do there. Maybe there's something at my car. Maybe I can see what made me crash. Or not. Oh! Oh! We got a live one! Track it down! Suck it in! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, it's underground. Time for the bunker. Oh, it has to be down here. 
for sure. Oh, for sure, bud. Yup. I think there's two more in storage. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. These suits are so fucking hard. Irish accent! Alright, you stay here. Take a minute to catch your breath. I'll get the others. We'll take them across the lake in two. Oh. You want these? Oh, thanks. Isaac had the other set, right? Wherever the fuck he is, yeah. What's been with that guy lately, anyway? Uh, oh, no idea. Let's just focus on getting these moved. Uh, ooh! Boat oars! Nice! Okay. I was gonna say, that doesn't help me. Unless you give me the keys, but you kind of did. Oh, what does this say? What the hell was going on down here? To whom it may concern, our, our efforts to contain Site C, although extensive, have been grossly unsuccessful. I fear it is only a matter of time before the remaining sites are compromised. After what feels like months of research, we are no closer to understanding this place. Time is a, co is a concept I am no longer familiar with. I have yet to see the sun rise. It is with my deepest regrets that I must call an end to our research, for I fear for my colleagues' well-being. To minimize the chance of the infection spreading, those who will not be returning with us have been laid to rest beyond the lake. Our thoughts are with their families and loved ones. Dr. Nicholas Strawbridge. Who's Dr. Nicholas Strawbridge? What was my dad's name? Oh, my dad's name was Chris. He said his dad name, his dad's name and his grandfather's name. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, now we have marching orders. We can uh, head out and go on the boat. But yeah, what are they doing with the bodies? Like, people just die and they're like, Oh well, we'll take them in pairs, we'll head on out. And then they just bring them across the lake and bury them? Well, I guess we're gonna find out what's across the lake. Nothing at the shack! That's surprising to me. I really thought the cafe and the shack were like the two places that absolutely something's gonna happen. But I guess I'm just a fool! Uh, boat oars. Where are you keeping all this stuff? This is my back pocket. Do I have to move this? No, it's moving on its own. Okay. Anything around? I love the hollow sound of my footsteps. Makes it even creepier. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, I thought you were headless. A shovel! That'll do nicely. I'm going grave digging tonight, lads. You look a little worse for wear, though, there, bud. Oh, God. Oh, no. Do I have to dig? I don't want to dig up actual graves. This is messed up. Um, God, where are all the things I pick up when you need them? It's empty. Okay. Wait! <laughs> Shouldn't there at least be a body in there? Is that yours? Did you just get out? You were you were smothered. So you were like, I'll get out and I'll have a I'll have a break. Get a bit of fresh air. Where are all the bodies? What am I digging them up for? Oh, there you go. Isaac has the keys. Gate one, two, and three. Whoa. Hold on. Oh god, the wind outside is freaking me out! I thought it was something like breathing in my ear. Okay, we're good! I'm searching for this static. I'll find something in the noise. I love how I just showed up and... Wait, what? Oh! Oh! 
Okay, that was really weird. That was a bizarre transition. Whoa, look at this! Put away this for a sec. This is so cool looking. God damn, there's so much atmosphere. The birds in the air, the fog, the rain. The lighting is nice. Well done. Um, I hate that I kind of have to take this out constantly, though, to find things, because I like... I like hearing the natural sounds of the game. What are you? Sheep! Hello, sheep! Sheep, have you seen any apparitions around? What was that? Did the sheep answer me? Sheep, if you can hear me, say something! Smoking these meats. Okay. I heard like. <laughs> Good God. Ew. Something's like growing out of it. They did talk about an infection. Oh, yes. Wait, where'd it go? Whoa! 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 What was that? Is that the thing they were talking about? The shadowy figure? Oh! Please don't tell me I have to like avoid that at some point. Dr. Helen Williams. Strong displacement, two sources, simulcast. Singular source. Singular sources. Okay. Those notes don't really help me. Oh yeah, baby, what we got? Whoa! Hey, someone's been in there. What? Yeah. All my shit's been moved. Come on, this site's been vacant for weeks. We're the only team with clearance to be able to start. I'm telling you, someone's been messing with my stuff. It's probably just that the badgers got in. Whatever. Us feckin' badgers. <laughs> right. Isaac, how's it going? Oh. Isaac? You think he found them? I don't know. Stay here. I'm going to go get him. Sure, someone's got to clean up this mess. Isaac's dead! Oh, and the tent is here now! A computer hooked up to audio equipment. It doesn't appear to be working. Oh, this is where I get stuff set up here then. Strange device with two antenna. Some sort of tape player. There's no power. God damn it, where are all the tape players are power? Follow this. Where does this go? There's no fuel left in the generator. Okay. I need fuel. I need uh, batteries. Empty. God damn it. Empty. <laughs> I keep finding like piece by piece and it's like a cassette player. No power. Follow the power. The generator. No fuel. Follow the fuel. Fuel can. No fuel. Uh. Okay. Maybe this other tent has some answers. Ooh, a battery! Nice! We can bring that back to the cafe to use it. Cool, cool. Whoa, jeez. Whip around any harder, I'll break my own neck. Ooh. I don't trust them. I don't trust any of them. It's hard to think straight. This place has gotten to each and every one of us. I've made a few fail-safe precautions, namely when it comes... <laughs> When it comes to the simulcast units, I've stashed a tape for Site C and a link just north of the research site. I've dialed in one of the faux tra emitters to give off a signal in the range of... The remaining writing is illegible. Wait, so... Stash a tape for Site C? Am I in Site C? I just know it's ground zero. And a link just north of the research site. Okay, you're not gonna count on me to actually find this stuff, are you? You're gonna guide me along? Like a good video game? 
Jackie, no have to use brain? Jackie, brain bad. Oh yeah, if there was ever going to be a place that had something going on in it, it's an abandoned creepy house like this in the middle of nowhere. This just looks like a house in the coast of Ireland. Or Wales. Wales and Ireland, they're not really that different geographically. <laughs> Isaac? Jesus, Isaac, put your respirator back on. Do you see it? Oh! Do you see it now? Don't you? How oh, is that? The light. The light. The rain. The earth. It's playful. Again. Isaac, I think we need to get you back to the facility. Oh, I'm not sick. Look, come with me. <laughs> you sure about that, bro? You need to learn. You all need to learn. Oh, God. Damn it, Isaac, what are you... Please. No. Did he kill her? Damn, dude. He had no chill. He also had no face. So, if I didn't have a face, I'd probably have no chill either. Wait, this is like fresh. Alright, we got a hammer. I don't know what that's going to be useful for. Maybe beating some sense into something when I find it. Oh, this is awesome looking. Do I hear a voice? Hey! Hey, you okay? Run. Who are you? Uh, hello? Uh... Hey, it's... It's gonna be all right, okay? I'll come back for you. Hit him with the hammer! Free. Okay, well, these are clearly something. There's a fetus. Five for five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, bloody hell. Do I have to follow that? Whoa, so spooky! These environments are sick! Cellar door. Can I use the hammer to get in there? Fair play, fair play. Damn, the hammer broke in two. What a crap hammer! Ooh, fuel. Yes! Okay, the pieces are falling into place. Oh god. Oh no. What? Oh, we're at a 10 down here. Nasty way to go. Damn. That is unfortunate. <laughs> um, some sort of diagram carved into the wall. Yeah, it says like, this is the antenna down back of the house. We have to go here? 
Just to the right of the house? Because this is the cellar, right? Okay. Damn, Isaac! That's not cool, bro! Wait, is it over here? Oh, right here. Let me get out of my shovel. The I keep... Shovel broke. Okay, I know the cassette. Nice. So I need a cassette for every location. So now I have two cassettes for the two places, here and the cafe. But I don't know if they actually go into those ones, but let's go check down here. Oh yeah, we got some activity! Working on something, some sort of long range device. A caster that fills these frequencies. You think that'll help? What happened here? It's the lake, isn't it? They found bodies. A lot of bodies. What like a man's down? It's been the same with the other side. The sewers are full of these things over there. Wow. Why then, though? There's still plenty of other ways to get <laughs> I don't know, but you've got a bigger problem here. Head back to the orchard. Take one of these. They're both fitted with new cones, fitted for that pen discharging. What are you doing? I've got to track them. Alone? I'll be fine. Huh. I hope that there's some sort of, like, interdimensional, like, beings crossing over that we've tapped into something we shouldn't have and now we're paying the price for it. I just love that. Wait, what did you give her? Is there anything for me down here except context? Oh god, bodies. Yeah, I think that's it. Sound design is also really great. Like hearing the pitter-patter on the... on the tent. That's cool. Hang on, deranged man. I'll get you out of here in no time. Hopefully I do not have to follow his diagrams. Because <laughs> I do not want to have to learn what those mean. All right, so this jerry can should have fuel in it, right? Just put that in here. Gleb, gleb, drink up. Cool. And now this tape A or A tape. <laughs> Activate the simulcast device at site C. So which tape do I use? Is there a difference? Let's just try it. Ah, uh, I think that did it. Okay, two more sites to go. Excellent! Site contained! Let's go! I'm a natural at this! I don't just drive my car around more than my dad and smoke cigarettes and drink coffee. No! I solve the problems of the people! Wait, can I leave here now and go back on the boat? I have a battery for the other side. Oh! And I, the keys that I got are for all the gates in the other bunker! Yes! Okay. Let's do that then. Uh, let me make sure I'm not missing any... Any duders. Oh my god, the wind! Also, what... Was that thing that I saw walking around? It looked like it was wearing a suit as well. 
Like it had reflective things on its arms and its head, but maybe I saw it wrong. I hope this tape works here. Some sort of tape plan. No. Yeah, 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 we have the battery. Stop talking, Chris. It's a time for doing. Okay. I don't know where the last tape is. It has to be in that bunker somewhere. Another site contained. Hell yeah! Okay. Look at us go! I am working so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Surely these anomalies or whatever is happening is getting more and more contained while I'm doing that, right? Like... Wasn't that the thing that they all went down at once, but if I have two back up and running, then this wildness has to be calming down a little bit. Don't worry, Anira! I'm coming! I've got the keys! Scanning. Scanning. There. It's still the one that's underground here. Oh! Okay, maybe that's down one of the doors where I can open up. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna save us from whatever hellish nightmare we're in. I'm cool. I can do it. I'm tough. At least the music's nice and calm down here. Nothing bad can happen in a bunker underground with a bunch of anomalies walking around. Okay, let's open up this one first. And... Keys. Nice. Anira? Afara? <laughs> Whatever. You guys don't get my comedy. Where am I going? Am I just going back outside? I am going back outside. Echo Garden facility. Oh. Oh, scary. Okay, no, take- keep this out. We're absolutely finding something bad over here. So keep this out at all times. This looks like a prison. And not like a good prison, you know, like Norway's. This looks like a prison that you keep one supervillain in. In a Marvel movie. And he's just like deep, deep, deep underground. He's got his arms and his legs tied up. He's constantly hunkered down because he's not allowed to use his powers anymore. I could wait. I could cut through this with the right tool. Gonna need something to cut through this fence. Gonna need something to cut through this fence. Gonna need something to cut through this fence. Gonna gonna need something. Gonna need something. Gonna need something to cut through this fence. <laughs> okay. Let me just go find an acetylene torch. Really, just bunts and burner my way through it. I think I can't actually do anything in this area until I get that. Back to the bunker! Oh! Helen! What's up, Helen? Uh, yes, I read okay. you. Okay, I got another one of those signal things running. That's great. We're almost done. Yep, looks like Charlie and Alpha are both back up. Not lost your nerve yet, then? No! Honestly, this place scares the shit out of me. No, Chris, shush. We're cool. Try not to think about it. We're almost out. Just one more sight. One more sight. Sure. You'll be alright. Let me know once it's active. Yes, ma'am. You'll know when it's active. You'll see it light up and the nightmare will be over. This did not change. Oh, Echo Garden status unknown. That's the one I just saw. Ooh. All right, let me go... Here. Was that knocked over before? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, God. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm forgetting everything. This is the one that was locked. Ooh. Don't do that to me, game. Actually, I'm doing it to myself. Hold on, I need to listen to the hallways. We're good. I can hear a jump scare coming from a mile away. Oh, I hate this room though. OK, 
Okay, nothing in here. Box is labeled medical supplies. Are they all medical supplies? Bottled water. Tinned food and ration packs. Huh. So you guys are staying here for a long time. Empty. There's nothing in the large box. Maybe there's another large box. Oh, empty. That one's empty too. Hold on. There's several large boxes. What's in you? Empty. empty. Oh god. Maybe there's something in this one. No. Oh god. They're all empty, Chris. What are we gonna do? Maybe. Hey, hey! A portable battery. Let's go. I'm gonna need that for sure. For sure, bud. Alright, let's push into the facility. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, this place is a nightmare. How many people died in this place? Body bags, looks like they've been there for a while. Jesus. Okay, we got more fuel for another generator. I already have a full can. Got it. Good man, Chris! You're on the ball now, Boko! Maybe I have to add power to that Echo Garden facility place. Okay, that's where I came in. Blocked! Already have a full can. Unless I have to come back and forth a lot. Which I feel like I might have to. Why is there so many full jerry cans all around the place? Seriously, this is a lot like Penumbra. If you like this game, um, which I do so far, yeah, it's great. Um, I highly recommend you go get this as well. Um, don't just watch it through me. Like, if you wanna- if you ever wanna buy the games that I'm playing, then by all means, please do. Especially these indie ones that people spend a lot of time and effort into making. Because I would hate to think that I play these games for my channel and it's great exposure, but if no one actually converts into buying the games, then... I don't know, I feel kinda... <laughs> feels wrong. But, um, if you're also into- if you want another game that's like this, if you finished it, then check out the Penumbra games. They're the guys who made Amnesia and Soma. Um, it was their first games, and it has this exact vibe to it, like these sort of bunkers and facilities and monsters to avoid and everything. Don't need these keys anymore. Nice. I like that. I like when games tell me that I don't need things anymore. Uh, hold on, let me check. Zoom. Okay, nothing. Any large boxes for me to open and not find anything in? Oh no, this is really bad. Dude, you're really gonna crawl down the sewer. At least you're in the right place for whenever you shit yourself. Hearth, Site B, okay. I heard something. It might just be the wind, like, shaking doors a little. But I'm supposed to be alone in the house right now. Don't like that. Anyway, back to video games. There's someone here. No, don't say that after what I just said! <laughs> And don't do the lightning thunder! Living in the village in the houses, I've seen them peering out from the sodden boards. A shadow behind the shears. Nobody believes me. They told me I was delusional. They threatened me, questioned my integrity, my ability to see this through. They see me too. It hurts to move. I think I understand now. This place is just the beginning. Oh. You saw beyond the veil. Okay, I gotta go check out my house before I- I'm gonna have, like, hair standing on the back of my neck.
We're good. It's just the wind blowing doors around, but just to be safe, just to be sure, so <laughs> I don't die. Wait, this is a whole town. What? Hello? No way. Is this whole town part of it? Are they all victims of whatever's going on? Dang. I'm not picking up anything in the old, uh, static phone. Uh, you have a star instead of a spar. <laughs> That's clever. Oh, we got something. Okay, it's over across the bridge. Damn, I didn't expect like a whole village here. This is very... We got something else here. Do you have a knife? Uh oh. Words that hold no faith. Let me show you the truth. Ma'am, step away. Oh, she got him. She got him. He's down. This place is messed up. It's like something in this area just drove everybody mad. Is that a person? Hello? Wait, there's something here. Oh, no. Chris, we've got to go. <gasps> Dad? We don't have time. Get in the car. Wait, was that it? Oh my god. Are you- oh, Wait, I gotta see who this person is. Are you the one that was sneezing in my ear? Hi? It's just some old lady. What are you doing? This is so creepy. Whoa! Grandma Death. What? It's like, I did see a person at the start of the game as well, walking down the street, and they just vanished as well, so maybe everybody's just dead. Maybe we're like... between the living and the dead in this world. In this, like, town. Okay, I still have to go back across the bridge to whatever I heard over there. Oh, this is where the thing is. Yeah, all these, like, strands come out when I'm near... Some sort of anomaly. Just crash? Please, no. I didn't save in so long. Oh god, no. This is where the last autosave was? Oh my god, I have to go back and do the cafe and everything. Oh! Oh! Anira just ran by! Oh, I didn't catch that the first time. Interesting, but she ran in here. 
I'm gonna be honest, I forgot Anira existed in this game. <laughs> Until just now again. So it's somebody in that house that's sneezing. Like there are still some people that are sane and just hanging around this town. I think. Okay, where was I? Um, I didn't go over there. I went this way. Because that's where I have to go. Is Grandma Death still running around somewhere? <laughs> yeah, there she is. Oi, Granny! What are you doing at all at all? There she goes. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Is that thing always following me? Whoa! Okay, I didn't see that the first time. Maybe that's why I uh, crashed. Maybe the game just... Uh, I died. Ooh, mama! I didn't even get a good look at it. Oh! God, no way! Okay, going, going, gone, by. Jesus! Okay, that one we got. That was the lady stabbing the police officer. So, I'm gonna go this way now. I'm getting as far away from... Shadow the Hedgehog that I can. Hearth, Bistro, and Antiques. They said to set it up in one of the front facing rooms, right? Yeah, somewhere with a good view of the village. Oh, it's weird to think that this place used to be busted. Hey, who says it isn't? <laughs> oh, come on. Now you're just trying to freak me out. Hey, you've heard the story. Hey, a lot of weird shit happened out here. Why do you think the field team is always hiring? Come on, let's just get this done. <laughs> Ladies first. Good one. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was gonna say, it sounded like the monster was right next to me. Can you shut? The pelican in. Get me indoors and out of... Outdoors. <laughs> Love what you did with the place. Yeah, because she said it was in a public house, which is a pub. Okay, there's one upstairs. Got it, got it. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick. Yeah, it turns out the camera's for saving. You save and you take a Polaroid and then you put it in your pocket. I realized I didn't actually show that. But I want to save just in case the game decides to crash again and I don't want to have to do a bunch of stuff. Okay, empty, empty, telephone, no power. Bolt cutters, baby! That's gonna be for the... the wire back at that other place. Nice, okay. Perfect. Doors jammed, perfect. The less options I have, the better. Let me just go straight to where I need to be. A register full of guest signatures and room numbers. As you do. I hear like a low heartbeat. Like a whoop, whoop, whoop. Doors jammed. This just goes back outside, doesn't it? All right, let's head upstairs. This is giving me Silent Hill 2 vibes. Huh? Stay vigilant. It's gonna be in this room. What? Oh no, there's more. God, this infection spread everywhere. Oh no, there's a kid in there! I didn't know there was still that many people oh, around. This is it. 
Yeah, I, uh, trying to figure out which key. They don't have room numbers on them. What kill keys never do? Describe them all. No, not that one. Or that one. Give to me. So we set up the repeater, make sure the windows are safe, and then lock it in there. Pretty much. We head back to the van, if you're okay, then it's a matter of waiting for the other teams to do their part. Have you seen a bridge like this before? Only once. It was messy, but we got the job done. Oh, that scares the shit out of me. Working in the facility is one thing, but... <laughs> Good. All right, let's do this. Wait, I don't have a third cassette yet, though. Wait, it's locked. I can't get in there. Huh? Maybe you have to find the hotel keys? It's probably behind the counter and I missed it. Notice board, no. Anywhere? Hello? What's taking us so long? Oh! I don't know. Smoke break. Try the radio again. I didn't get this the first time. I was too scared of the monster. Bravo. Site C has been contained. Do you copy? Over. That's Isaac! Nothing. What gives? You really are on edge today, aren't you? Or maybe he just looks like Isaac. No, just... Wait. Do you smell that? Hey, don't look at me. No, that... Oh, now we can get into the van! Transit van! Ah, oh, God, I haven't seen one of those nyonks! <laughs> Whoa! You just got set in fire in there? Oh, hotel keys, nice. Sick, thanks, dead dude. Whoa, whoa. Anything else? Oh, both of you got trapped in there. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, God. Wait, but how? Like, what did it? I don't think the creature that's following me is like... <laughs> I'm gonna lock them in the van. And then set them on fire. <laughs> I don't think it's that maniacal. But, uh... I don't know why the game keeps crashing at that exact spot. So, hopefully that's the last time we have to go there. And we're in the clear. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that whatever cassette I need... Undiscovered key items remain in this area. Yeah, you think? I'm hoping that if the thing is in here that the key that I get or the cassette that I need is like in here. Cassette tape deck. Hard case. Yeah. Thank God. Cuz I was really worried that I was going to have to like search around somewhere else. Wait, there's a battery here as well! Some sort of tape player. It's plugged into the mains, but there's no power. Right. It needs to restore power to the building. Yeah, there's a... Oh, the window's broken. There's a circuit... No, uh, I'm lugging another one of these around with me. The circuit's messed up because the light keeps... Like, this is happening. I think, but I, I don't think I can do anything to this. Seems something's causing the circuit breaker to trip. Oh wait, can I get into all the other rooms now? Oh! I didn't even think of that.
Okay. Nothing in here. Smile and wave. Wait, why did I get that? What? God, that- if you're- if something actually happened to give me that, fine. But if you're like messing with me and scaring me through the achievements, which I actually think now I've never seen done. Or like, what if you're playing a horror game and you're so paranoid and suddenly you just get an achievement that says, look behind you. That would be cool. Wait, there's nothing in any of these rooms. Maybe this one, because this is where the- Ugh. Oh God! No! Oh, that freaks me out. Oh, God. I, oh, I can push him. No, no. Can I, like, soak up the problem? So much blood. It's leaking through the floorboards. I didn't realize it was blood. So much blood. Yeah, put down the thing. Oh no. Stanley, negotiations with the team here in Hearth have been somewhat difficult, although I do feel like I'm making progress. As expected, they have reservations about a third party being involved. However, the financial incentive still proves to be our strongest bargaining chip. The facilities here are in dire need of a cash injection and terribly understaffed. Naturally, this is an opportunity we cannot afford to miss. I suggest that moving forward we adopt a more aggressive approach to our negotiations. I trust that money is no obstacle. I await your approval. Eager to move forward. Sincerely, Thomas. Oh. Can I cut this? Oh man. Oh god. Yeah, put the du duvet on it. Uh, that should do it. <sighs> ah, so freaky! I told you, the longer I go without finding anything, the worse it gets. Cool, job sorted. <laughs> Looks like that did the trick. Okay, nice. It's showing some sort of error message. Uh, it's called a B sod, a blue screen of death. It's probably not. You still there? Okay, I don't want you like moving on me. Wait, what do I need the batteries for then? Maybe something at the other facility? Okay, that should be the last one. Time to get to the facility. We're good now, right? Like, no more badness? Everything solved? Dude, Helen's gonna be so happy with me. I did it. I solved the problem. I have no idea where Helen is though. Maybe she's in that other big facility that I found. Which I assume we have to go to next. Oh, Helen, dearest. Wait, I thought I was out. God, that's a long hallway. I'm calling Helen. Are you there? Yep. Hey, I think that's all the devices up and running. We can get out of here now, right? Oh, you did it, Chris. The signal array's back online. Woohoo! There's some stuff I need to do on my end, but we're almost done. Get it done, Helen! Make your way to the Echo Garden. Big concrete building. Ah, uh, Helen? Hey, you're breaking up. You're breaking up with me, Helen? Uh, hello? Are you still there? Oh, no, that can't be good. no, no, why would you do this to me? Uh, 
Wait, do I have to get everything back up and running, like, downstairs? Or can I come back later? I think I should probably just go to the other facility. But maybe that's out of power now as Don't well. Don't need these keys anymore. Where the hell is Anira? Okay, bolt cutters through the fence. Nice. Because I still have a battery and a jerry can, so I'm assuming I need to turn on power somewhere. Nice. All three are operational. Access granted. Member of staff will be with you shortly. I bloody hope not. Whoa, that's intense. Dude! We're about to uncover some secrets! You're here. Good. Make your way to the lower level. Helen? Uh, it's a speaker, Chris. She can't hear you. Today, March 16th, is a day that will go down in history. Our biggest breakthrough yet, we have now established contact with the other side. Through years of prolonged study and relentless analysis, our work has finally paid off. What was but a fleeting moment now stands as a shining beacon of our efforts, a reminder of why we're here, the fruit born from our collective sacrifice. To communicate, even for a matter of seconds, with one of those who have passed proves to be the single greatest moment of my life. So it's the afterlife we're tapping into. I'm one step closer to finding her, to be able to speak with her once again, to hear her tender words. There's nothing I want more. With our theory confirmed, we are now preparing to move on to the third stage, prolonged exposure to the artifact. I believe with the right precautions and our newfound knowledge, we can overcome these pitfalls w that have previously proven detrimental to our goal. Anira, my love. We'll be together again. It's only a matter of time. No way. Is Anira dead the whole time? I was talking to a dead girl? I drank coffee with a ghost? That's messed up. It seems to be operated remotely. Excuse me? Electrical panel. Oh, screwdriver. Hell yeah. Nice. We're locked in. I'm sure that's not bad. Whoa, this is cool. There's no power. Oh, there we go. Power needed. Oh. June 10th, we have found success with another host, a young male born following the initial events at GZ. The child has exceeded our expectations in control sessions here. It's me. My dad worked here and I have powers as a result of it. Control sessions here in the lab and has proven far more resilient to the side effects holding back our, uh, holding back our other participants. Through this host, we have been able to make contact on several separate occasions with clear results far exceeding our sample data. Since the acquisition, we've now doubled our staff. Bringing in fresh minds with unique perspectives has vastly improved our productivity and estimated milestones. Work has started on the offsite facility and I've been informed this should be operational by winter. Preparations are beginning to take place for the transfer of viable hosts. I'm incredibly proud of the work we have achieved here at the Echo Garden Institute and look forward to our future endeavors. Oh my God. Is everyone, is Helen dead as well? Oh no. Looks like he's been through hell and back. This is messed up, dude. Staring into the display makes me feel weak. Why? Okay. Ah, oh, key card. What's this? Access card has been added to inventory. Is that my dad? I think that might be my dad. I 
can't see it though. It's probably not my dad. I feel like he would react to that if it was. Dude, sound effects are on point in this game. Really like heavy, clunky metal doors. So cool. Oh my god. Dude, this is getting so spooky. They're all identical. What in the blue blazes? Take a seat. Uh, you want me to sit in that thing? Just get on the chair, Chris. The body must have been here for years. I don't think I want to, Helen. I think I'm good on the whole sitting down on the random execution chair. There's bodies everywhere. safe. Like, at all. It's fine. Just take a seat. Let me guess. I'm just supposed to trust you. I've got you this far, haven't I? Don't let fear overcome you now. Uh, that's what I'm worried about, that you got me oh, this far. This is crazy. Screw it, let's do this. No way, fuck this. Oh man, I have to make a choice. I mean, we know I'm gonna sit in it, right? Like, we've come this far. I'm super curious about what's going on. I think I don't wanna just leave and then get like, oh, the good ending, you left and you stayed safe. No, I wanna dive into the depths of despair and see the eldritch truth. Okay, screw it. Let's do this. I mean, in real life, there's no way in hell I'd be sitting down there. Oh, is that Helen up there? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Whoa. Oh lord, am I in the astral plane? Dad? Whoa. What we're doing here is very important, Chris, do you understand? And we couldn't do it without your help. Yup. Yeah. I don't like it, Dad. It's scary. The dock, the graves. Oh, that's a lot of graves. Ah, oh, cool. We're not gonna have another one of your incidents, are we? What if this is like... Like they have been seeing me, all those people are dead, and they just see me... ...in this sort of astral plane. Oh, there's a person. Who is this? Daddy? I'm done talking, you'll be fed in the morning. What?
Yeah, plug it out. Almost looked like a brain in the middle of it. Doctor, he's conscious. Huh? Establish the GPS. Do we have motor functions? Sympathetic pathway showing response. Pupils dilating. Uh. Chris, can you hear me? No verbal response. What is going on? Progress has been slow today. Might I suggest a brief recuperation period? <sighs> Disappointing. That's dad. Run it again. I woke to a deadly silence. Meet your maker. My legs tired, fumbling over each step like I'd been asleep for a lifetime. Something was different now. A stillness to the air. As I felt the blood slowly return to my fingers, so did a flood of memories. Those years spent alone with my father years my mind had locked away in the darkest corner of my subconscious. I had lived this horror before, time and time again, like some kind of fever dream. My father was an honest man, a loyalist, dedicated to his craft, to science, to the pursuit of knowledge. But a compassionate man, he was not. Everything changed the day my mother passed. His... better half. He became obsessed with that village, with Hearth, and his st stupid rock that fell from the stars. Okay! For years I thought I'd see her again, that she'd just come back, arms open like she never left. Maybe we were both deluded. My father convinced me I was sick. Maybe I was. I could see things other people couldn't. Things no 12-year-old should ever see. Day after day, I wished I hadn't told him. I wished things could go back to the way they were. Visits turned into appointments. Appointments into sleepovers. It wasn't long before we stopped going back home. This is your home now. Wow. Then I met Helen. I never knew her last name. The only researcher in that damned place with a conscience. If it wasn't for her, I'd be rotting there like the rest of them. She helped me get out. To get away. To a foster family in the southwest. A new life far from here. My rock. For years I dreamt about it. About that place and what it would be like to go back. Like something was calling me. That feeling. It's gone now. Whatever business my father started here, it ended when I severed that link. I guess now I can finally leave. We all can. Interesting.
<laughs> Royal Mail. <laughs> so British. Finn? Hey! Sick music. Dude, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Damn, Nathan Hamley, you did everything. Very, very cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Cool concept. Um, kept me guessing. It wasn't that scary. Um, but they don't always have to be super scary all the time. Oh. Oh, you did a lot. Nice. Yeah, the voice acting was really, really good. Surprisingly... Impressed by that. There's more voices in the game than I thought. Um, I, I really, really like the the design of everything. I think that the the visuals were super, super nice to look at. I think the the lighting was super cool. The hey, me and Evelyn get a credit. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, I played the demo, sure, but other than that. Okay. Not really sure what that means. Um, Echoes found 13 of 17. Oh, I missed four? And I missed one note. Ending salvation. Is that the good ending? Sounds like a good ending. Salvation sounds good. Anyway, that was fantastic. Visuals were very good. The levels were a lot more detailed and sparse and expansive than I actually expected them to be. Because most indie games are kind of relegated to narrow corridors all the time because of just budget constraints and everything. But... I mean, I could kind of tell that this is going to be good based on the demo. The demo was really good and I was very impressed with it. But yeah, voice acting very good. Sound design incredibly good. Visuals are cool. Really neat concept. I need, I need, to, I need to like absorb it all in to figure out what was actually going on. Because he... I thought, oh, he just has powers. So then there were, his dad was a scientist and was like, oh shit, my son has powers. Well, let's see what this does. And then started experimenting on him and trying to figure out how far his power will go. And then we're like, oh, we can actually tap into the afterlife and let's use that and talk about it that way. And maybe he wanted to go back and like find the mom or something. Um, but then he started talking about like a space rock. Maybe I missed that aspect of it. That... Maybe that was like the thing that helped their technology. Was that like the blue thing in the end? I should have taken a better look around in that little room. But I like I liked the pace of the narrative, the way it was going. So I kind of just went up to the chair and whatever. Um, I didn't even see Helen in the room until he was going to sit down. Really interesting. I can't really find uh, another... Like, I don't know what another ending would be or how many endings there are, so I'm not really sure. I also don't know what Restless Dreams is. Um, but maybe you guys will know. Let me know how many endings there are down in the comments, because I'm curious. Um, and if I got the better one. It seems like I got the better one, because it seems like he, like, released himself from the system and everything and kind of got away from it and is now free. Um, but it kind of seems like... Maybe Anira was his mom? Because that note saying, like, my dear sweet Anira, and that's how he was interacting with her. And that's how the, maybe the dad met her through going to get coffee near the research facility. 
Because the name of the place is called The Last Stop, so clearly that has like a an afterlife inflection to it. So maybe the dad met Anira and then had a kid named Chris? I don't know. Because otherwise I don't really know where the mom fits in or who the mom would be. Um, I don't think it was Helen. I think she just worked there. Helen seems dead and she was helping him in the afterlife. Because she knew his power and knew what to do, but she wanted to help him not only get out of there initially, but get out of there again. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways that it, it all could go. Um, but again, very curious to hear what your thoughts are on it. I'm so glad I played it. I'm so glad I did the whole game in one session, because I've been meaning to do that for a long time. And just kept putting it off and off and off and off. But now that I'm trying to, you know, ADHD meds and trying to get everything back in order and actually like push through the ideas that I want to do. That's why we're here now today. And I'm glad I did. Super cool game. I, I highly enjoyed that. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there's any other horror games as well that you want to see in the future. Kind of like this, kind of like one shots sort of stuff, because I really enjoy doing them. Um, and getting into that vibe and just doing it all in one video. It's really fun to do, so please let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more games in the future and also check out all the other games I've done. There's tons and tons of horror games and full playthroughs on the channel as well. Go watch those and don't forget to like the video as well if you enjoyed this and had a lot of fun with it. Um, but until next time, see ya.